Welcome to Fiora. So channel first here today. We have Ke Hit Kevin Hitman as the first ever guest star of my channel playing World of Warships. And he is in a tier 8 North Carolina battleship. Not a repl not a ship I often show. Now his view right now to me is a bit odd. Then again, I hope the replay is showing what he's actually looking at because while well, his guns are rotating as though it is, it just seems a bit odd to have that kind of a view. Up oh, there he goes. And that, that's a Nagato. The guns in this game always, always just sound pretty. I mean, they really do. Oh, he got a hit and set a fire. I would have uploaded armor piercing, but... Up there he goes. He's switching to AP now as he fires his rear battery. Up, he's got incoming. He took a hit. He took a hit for about the same amount of damage he issued back to the Nagato. Oh my god, he set the Nagato back on fire. Oh my god. And you know that guy's used his damage control party. You know he's done it. You know he's done it. I would also launch my spotter plane right now to get extra range on my guns. He's actually aiming at the Atlanta cruiser back there. As the Nagato's shells sell harmlessly, having ill-led his actual course. And he didn't actually steer. Oh, he misses the Atlanta. I would seriously launch the spotter plane right now and get... Oh, he doesn't need the extra range. Wow. That is some range. Forgot how far high tier. I haven't actually seen how far high tier battleships can actually shoot. Up, he sees a poor cruiser who's straggling behind. What is that? It's a Cleveland. That Cleveland's in trouble. Because there's, there's two North Carolinas over here who would love to just tear a small chunk out of his ship. Ah, uh, but he's shooting down, he's shooting down some uh, enemy aircraft here who are apparently scrambling all over to try to sink his carrier uh, that's a lot of umph he gets three hits scores about 4300 a little over 4300 damage and the other half of his fleet has cut off the Nagato and its cruiser escorts so now they are in a pincer Oh my god, this is terrible for that battleship. And he shoots down a torpedo bomber. He's, he's zoomed out. He's paying attention to his surroundings. And the enemy torpedo bombers just vanished after he shot down a second one. His shells don't look like they hit anything. He's now having to sail around this island in order to actually be able to bring his guns to bear. And there it is. There's the Nagato. Who has turned into the island to purposely run himself aground and try to avoid the fire from the two cruisers and battleship in front of him. Obviously not completely aware of the North Carolina and other battleship behind him. Oh, he is still bleeding from that fire. Oh, God. He has got to be pissed off. He is so... Uh... Kevin unleashes a single battery. 
Because that guy's, that guy's on no health, and he doesn't want to waste his shots. That guy's going to bleed to death right now before his shots even get there. He really didn't want to waste his shots there, because it takes a while to reload these massive 16-inch guns. He fires a volley at those cruisers. I don't think they're... I don't think it's gonna hit. I think it's oh that cruiser's turned up. Oh, this could this could land on top. That Cleveland could be in for a nasty surprise. Up, oh, nope. All the shots spread everywhere. Nothing actually hitting near where it was aimed. I guess that's a big defect with these massive guns. Sometimes hitting the broad side of a barn is literally a challenge. There's a tiny little Farragut destroyer back there. Hit. Both of his friendly aircraft carriers, by the way, are gone. And his team is losing severely with their deaths. This could go poorly for everyone involved. He's got his recon plane up there, which has got a four minute duration. I wish my war spites had a four minute duration. I get like a minute and a half. I get three volleys tops. And he's looking for a target that is in range. With the spotter aircraft up there, his range is extended and there's still nothing quite in his line of sight or his range right now, which is not good. It's very, very bad for him. Uh, they just lost another ship. They are down two, three cruisers and both of their carriers. Well, two cruisers, a destroyer, and a carrier. This is not a happy place to be in right now. I'm wondering why he's still sailing in this direction. Those dive bombers look like they may decide he's a tasty target. And they, in fact, do. He gets one of them. His A batteries are working him over. It is an American battleship. Its AA battery is not anything to laugh at. Six? Wow, really? You shot down... Like I said, it's not anything to laugh at. All of these dive bombers are now dead. Having died to the Hitman's AA fire. He does have torpedo bombers coming in at him. And there it is. That's what he was out here looking for. That carrier. I don't think he's noticed him yet. He's worried about these torpedo bombers, so he's turning. Up oh, there goes one torpedo bomber. His fighter dives in on him. Oh, ninja dodge! Oh, and all the torpedo bombers bite it. And now he notices the aircraft carrier back there and is starting to turn his main battery around. Well, this is a battleship, and just like the War Spites turrets, they take forever to turn. These are a couple hundred, if not a thousand ton turrets that have to be turned. By the way, they fixed that. If you hit the edge of the map, you stop. Oh, multiple Citadel penetrations. Oh, that carrier is not going to last much longer. And he is aware of the enemy aircraft, as you can see. He's not, well, he's not really aware of them. He's still sailing in a straight line, which he's going to pay for with two direct hits from torpedoes. Oh, no, he's going to take another volley. Turn your ship, battleship drivers. Turn your bloody ship. However, that carrier is about to receive wrath and fury on high from another battery. Oh my god, nothing. The second, the front two batteries scored nothing. 
He has now, however, shot down 28 aircraft. That carrier can't have many planes left at all. And he's shooting down even more of that carrier's aircraft as he just lays into it. He's got to be pissed. Of course, he hasn't switched to high explosive for some reason, so... Uh, they may over-penetrate. Oh, there it goes to the bottom of the sea, and that reversed the scores. Kevin's team is now in the lead. Good job, Hitman. And look at all the colors he's flying on his ship, by the way. All of those extra bonuses. And those dive bombers are keeping him spotted, so his AA guns need to, you know, take care of him. Which, apparently those dive bombers were ordered on a last attack. And are going to do some damage from beyond the grave for the carrier. But they are all out of the sky now. He puts out the fire and then looks down range at this Amagi class battleship who looks to be in a turn to avoid those torpedoes so he unloads a full broadside and he's rewarded with two hits for 4,000 damage which is not a lot his damage control ability is about to come off cooldown I would burn that immediately you need the hit points and you have incoming I would be turning this ship hard and he is in fact turning the ship hard look at the minimap he's actually turning but he does take a little bit of damage he returns the favor knowing the Amagi is going to run into the map edge and stop cold so the Amagi is going to have to turn okay 2600 in return I would seriously go ahead and use my damage control because a pair of citadel penetrations could kill him. And there he goes. He burns the damage control. He's also fervently maneuvering his ship between shots. Which is something I definitely agree with because it makes it a significantly harder target. And pointing your ship at the enemy actually causes stuff like that. Light damage. The Imagi's got to be frustrated with that. He dealt so little damage, it's already been repaired. Ah, uh, but Kevin overled the target. The Imagi is varying his speed and therefore making himself not as easy to hit. Ah, uh, that's got to be frustrating. Either one of these battleships sinking could tip the scale of this battle into the favor of their team. Virtually bounces off, does 4,000 damage total. Kevin sees he's sped up and fires a volley to make sure it's going to hit. Then fires another one right behind it. Scores about 6k. This is an Amagi. It is an equal tier battleship to him. He needs to get his rear battery into this fight though. And it's slowly coming up that uh, he's getting into knife fighting range. Oh god, oh, 8,000, he can't afford that. He's in a knife fight now for a battleship, 6K is a, 6 kilometers is a knife fight. I don't know if he's going for the ram attempt here, or if he's actually just hoping that this battleship driver doesn't kill him. Oh god, secondaries are opening up. Oh god, I think Kevin might be going in for the ram. Torpedoes tear into the Amagi, giving him a fighting chance. All he's got to do is hit this next volley. Fire in the hole! Uh-oh. Secondaries are opening into each other. And, oh! Saved at the last moment by friendly... What is that? A, another friendly battleship? Another friendly North Carolina. He's barely afloat. Look at the green on his hit point bar right now. There's a sliver, a sliver of health. I think he was genuinely going for the ram attempt. Burn your damage control. Press that button right now, religiously. It is your only hope for survival.
The Atlanta didn't save you. The other North Carolina did. I would seriously be pressing my damage control now. Like, not even... Just spamming the button until it started working. Oh, he's shooting that. He, he just tore that entire enemy torpedo squadron apart. That carrier wants to sink him. I don't blame the carrier. I would seriously, though, be using my damage control. Or my uh, healing ability. And he lines up the shot. And is preparing to fire. But he doesn't fire. Why doesn't he fire? He knows it will get him spotted. And right now, he's invisible. And if he sinks, it's going to flip the scoreboard back into the enemy's favor. The enemy team has taken the lead. So he's going to reload armor piercing and sit here quietly. And then, while his damage repair ability gets him some more hit points, he then opens fire. I don't know if any of those are really gonna hit. They don't look like they're on. Nope, that cruiser turned. See, at this range, the, the Cleveland can easily avoid the battleship shells as they come in, and he is taking out all of these aircraft trying to keep him spotted. He's now hanging on by 12,000 hit points instead of three. As the clock continues to tick upward, uh, see, it's these kind of tense moments when you're in a battleship, or in any vessel, when you have next to no hit points, and you know if they sink you, that your team might actually have a very poor chance of winning, or might flat out lose if they sink you. So he's got to hang on for dear life right now. And the Cleveland is sailing away. Also trying to avoid these battleship guns because a single citadel penetration from either of these tier 8 battleships could easily blow the Cleveland out of the water and break its back outright. So he opens up with some blind fire and is reloading high explosive. Because at this range he just needs near misses to damage the Cleveland. He shoots down more of the enemy's aircraft. It's keeping him spotted, but he's out of range of the Cleveland's guns, and there's no attack aircraft in range. The carrier has probably lost all of his attack aircraft at this point. That last torpedo squadron might have been his last attack squadron, because Kevin right now has a heap of dead enemy planes. This is not a ship you want to keep your aircraft around for any length of time. It has a massive AA complement, in addition to the fact it launches a, a observation plane that also counts as a fighter. No, it's just a catapult fighter. It's just straight up a fighter craft. So, it's not a ship you want to keep your, your planes around unless uh, for any length of time. You want to send them in, have them attack, and leave. And a lot of the carrier and the carrier drivers haven't been doing that. They've been keeping their planes near him to try to keep him spotted. And in return, he's just knocked them out of the sky, one by one, blown their little wings off, and kept right on going. From the looks of things, um, they might win this simply by capping out. Kevin is in the C circle, which means if the Cleveland turns back and comes back, it will have to deal with him directly to kill him the is about to win. in order to win the game. And at this point... Any ship sinks, it's over. Both teams have a lot of points. Um, so it's probably in Kevin's best interest to hide. Which, as you can see, he's throttled down. He's coming to a halt. He wants to sit here in the sea cap, make sure they hold on to this, and just wait for the captain. 
Because in 15 seconds, nothing matters. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game. And what a battle. What a battle that this has turned out to be. Let's take a look at what he did. So he made 376,304 credits and survived. Even though I'm pretty sure at some point he just gave up and went, That's it! Suicide charge! And was going for the ram on the Amagi until he saw his allied ship going to be able to sink him before he got there. Two Citadel penetrations both on the carrier. 33 hits with his guns. Probably doing a massive amount of damage. I actually can't see the damage he did. He didn't send me the other two screen captures. But after watching this game and seeing that tension at the end with the Amagi charge. And then looking up and going, please shoot down those torpedo bombers. I mean, this turned out to be a very, very good battle. So, that's going to be it for the World of Warships video today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next video. And I, I, I really honestly hope you keep watching. So uh, I would ask that you please hit the like button and share this on a social media site like Facebook or Reddit or Twitter or somewhere. Just, you know, let people know about the channel and uh, check out the patronage page. You can do this by clicking on the patronage page banner down there at the lower left screen. And check out these other two World of Warships videos. You might find you're, more, you're just as interested in them and my commentary as this one. In the meantime, this is Fiora officially signing out for right now. And I will see you guys in the next video and on live stream later today. Bye bye guys. And now I'm going to bring my rear battery up. And my other rear battery will eventually get in there. Yep, here it comes around. Now there's my, there's my first shots. So it's really hard to lead at this kind of range because you're I'm shooting at him, he's 20 kilometers away. I think he's he's 18.8 kilometers away right now. And three tubes, I gotta say. You can fire off two and you can keep one in reserve. You can make, you can fire off two, wait a few seconds, then fire off the other one so they think they've dodged your torpedoes, and then it's like, surprise, I had another spread. Oh my god, it is awesome. And in this match in particular, I am cruising around in my destroyer. Now, patch 1.4.1 is going to make battleships better. We hope.